Hey folks, Mel the Train Shooter back in the studio and back with, well, a bit of a ramble for you. Now it's been a little while since we've had a channel ramble and I thought I need to tell you what's going on. Because Mel's life has got very hectic. Now channel wise, things are going to be ticking along quite normally. Okay, uh, we've got a couple more videos on coastal stuff to come, some small scale defences and we've got some more ocean colours to come with our Fredicus. And then we're wrapping up our sort of small scale, scale coastal stuff. After that, you'll start to get the lava build in my scar build. Yeah, that's coming along, the content's coming along, so it'll be on Patreon first and then it'll watch later it'll hit the channel in the next couple of weeks. And that'll run for approximately about a month or so, yeah, as we work through and I finish that off before Watch Cut Salute. So that's what's going on with the channel, but outside the channel, Mel's life has got very hectic. Well, channel related. Uh, two things. I'm doing a book and I'm going to Adepticon. I'm also going to Beasts of War, so there's three things. Right, okay, book first. Yes, I am doing a book. A lot of you have mentioned it. It's been talked about for quite a while. I uh, got chatting with a good mate of mine, Dave Taylor. Yeah, Dave Taylor Miniatures. He's recently done a book, and we are doing a book together. Dave's, uh, Dave's got a long-time career in the hobby as working for various companies as an editor, writer, publisher, that sort of thing. And so, watch what he's handling all the technicalities with that sort of stuff, and I'm handling all the content in the book. And the book's going to be a terrain manual, basically, an opportunity for me to get all my techniques up to where I am right now. There's a lot of stuff that I do that my techniques have improved quite a bit, but I haven't improved enough, or I haven't had enough time to go back and redo a, a complete tutorial video on a lot of the basic techniques and a lot of the stuff that I've learned. And so the book's an opportunity to bring pretty much everything up to where I am right now and basically come up with a desktop manual for terrain making. So pretty much every all the common things and everything you need to know, all the core stuff, in one book that you can keep on your desk and everything's there. Colour schemes, mixing ratios, techniques, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I was having quite a laugh with him because David, I was like, how many words can I fit in the footer? And Dave's just like, just... Give me the information, I'll fit it in the book. We'll get it in the book. I'm like, how small can the writing be in the book? <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be jam-packed. Now, if you're interested in the book and that sort of stuff, obviously keep an eye on what you're on the channel because announcements will be going on there. Obviously follow me on Facebook and that sort of stuff. But I've got a bit of an ask. Yeah, now obviously I'm going to be asking you guys who want to jump in on the Kickstarter and that sort of stuff, you know, to support it. But for those of you who might not jump in on the Kickstarter but want to help me, I'm looking for people who can help me spread the message. You know, help with marketing and that sort of stuff. I don't really mix in forums outside the Terraniacs and what we do on the channel. I don't really go other places. I keep myself to myself. And so I could do with that, you know, people who are in various forums and associated with different groups and that sort of stuff to help me spread the word. Now, I'm creating a little secret Facebook group to make it easier share information and that sort of stuff. So if you want to be one of my, my helpers on this and really help me out with this, because the way I look at it is I've got one opportunity, this is my one chance to write a book. Yeah, and if it goes really well, there may be others in the future, but right now, this is my one chance. So any help I can get with making this happen, I'd be grateful for. So if you are interested, hit me by a messenger, email or whatever, get your name across to me, introduce yourself if I don't already know you. Yeah, and then just watch that. I'll add you to the group, we'll keep you in the, in the loop sort of thing and we'll get things rolling. Uh, so that is the book. I'll tell you what, I've been burning some midnight hours on that. Uh, the amount of work I've been doing. Uh, it's got all the normal stuff in, but I've been writing a lot of the theory sections at the moment, ready for doing all the unique builds, because the book's going to be full of unique builds that I can showcase my very latest techniques. And because they're not being done for videos as such, they're being done for a book, I can take it to a certain higher standard. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. It's easier to show it at a higher standard in a book than in a video, if you know what I mean. Or the progression. It's technical, but, you know, I'm really looking forward to showing stuff off. So that's the book that's going on now with me and Dave Taylor Miniatures. Just a quick rundown. It should, I think it launches on Friday the 15th of March. I should double check that. And it launches at about 10 o'clock at night. Now, the reason it launches at 10 o'clock at night is because we've worked it out that if we do it then, it essentially finishes the week after Salute yeah, on the Sunday night, and it finishes on the Sunday nighter. So the campaign will finish as we're live on the Sunday nighter. And Dave is actually over in the UK, and he'll be at my house 
on that night. So we'll both be sitting in front of the screen watching, you know, the final figure come in. Yeah, so that's why it's starting late. But that's when it's starting, it's going to run basically through mid-March to through to mid-April. Now, in the meantime, I hadn't particularly planned this, but Dave being the sort of person Dave is, he's very sort of forward and, and you are doing this, Mel. All right, then. I'm going to Adepticon. This only got finalised a couple of weeks ago and I'm <laughs> scrambling around trying to sort flights and all that sort of stuff. It's all sorted, it's all booked up, I am definitely going. I'm flying over on the 25th and I'm flying back on the 2nd. So essentially, I, essentially I've got a week in Chicago. Now I hear it's pretty cold in Chicago, <sighs> yeah? But if you are going to a Devticon, let me know in the comments, reach out to me, I'd love to meet you, you know what I mean? Uh, the only reason to go to it, I just want to meet loads of people, I'm going to be filming over there and I'll take some content and that sort of stuff, just for shits and just for giggles, you know what I mean? Watch my language. Yeah, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I think I've got a day before the convention and I, I, when I fly back, I fly back on the Monday where well, Adepticon finishes on the Sunday, I fly back on the Monday, but I fly into Brussels at nine o'clock. And then I don't fly out from Brussels until about five o'clock. So I've also got a day in Brussels on Tuesday the 2nd. Yeah, so if you're about in Brussels, and assuming they let me out of the airport, better check that, yeah, uh, if you'd like to show me around Brussels and entertain me for a day, that would be absolutely brilliant. Otherwise, I'll be sitting in some airport lounge Writing. <laughs> doing doing lots of writing. Uh, so there's that. Um, so we've got the book, we've got uh, Adepticon. Let me know about Adepticon and that sort of stuff, yeah. Uh, if you're a company and that sort of stuff and you're in the trading hall or want me to come along and make sure, you know, I'll come say hi. Give me a shout out so I can mock you down on my map and know where you are. And on top of that, also, what do you call it? If you're making any terrain for Adepticon, reach out. So, I'll call, you know, if you're a terrainiac and you've got stuff at Adepticon, reach out to me, yeah? Because I want to come see it. Uh, and then finally, this one came right out of the blue. Dave was like, right, yeah, you need to go to, to go see Beasts of War. Because, you know, they do the Kickstarter announcement videos. We're doing one of those. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to Beasts of War uh, to be interviewed by one of the lads and it looks like that I'm also going to be on the weekend. Yeah, we should be a bit of a jolly. Now, it's my second time at Beasts of War. I went across last year, they invited me. Yeah, and it's a brilliant crack, it really is. It's a good laugh, so I'm really looking forward to that. There is a downside. Now, it's nothing to do with the channel or anything like that. Uh, now... Finance-wise, you guys know, we're, we're, I tick along month to month and that sort of stuff, and we're, we're roughly okay in that sort of stuff. Now, obviously, with flights to Chicago and, and, you know, after Christmas, a little bit stretched. And then Dave going, right, okay, we need to get you to be swore. Okay, that's a few more hundred pounds to get over there, accommodation flights over to Ireland, that sort of stuff. The thing is, yeah, they want me over there for the 7th, 8th of March. Perfectly fine, yeah. Uh, my flights, best flights are on the, on the 7th, which is the Thursday, they don't get me there till midday, so it's better if I fly out the day before, which is the 6th, which is also Kerry's birthday. <laughs> now, this is compounded by the fact that Kerry's granddad is Irish, okay? Her nickname when she was a young girl was Kerry Gold. Uh, she loves Ireland, but she's never been. And this is my second trip. I'm leaving on her birthday. And without being blank, you know, it would cost about, and probably about another £300 to get Kerry over there for, you know, for the days I'm over there. And that's an accommodation, flights, all that sort of stuff. And I just don't have it at the minute with disposable trip, you know. Uh, and so it's like, yee. <laughs> on top of that, I discovered on our wedding anniversary, I'll be at Salute! <sighs> and the anniversary of when we were get, when we got together 20 years ago, I'll be in Chicago! <sighs> Just as a side note, yeah, I really hope this Kickstarter funds because other than Kit in the, the studio, if it funds, yeah, there's, you know, there's a, a chunk of disposable cash at the end, profits, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and it's sort of earmarked around one, updating the, the, the cameras in the studio and getting 4K cameras and taking us to a proper production level. You know, it'll be the only time I have a big chunk of investment cash that I can put into kit like that, because we always do it bit by bit and just quick, sweet round, 
upgrade everything, you know, upgrade all the camera gear. And then with what's left over, you know, sort a couple of outstanding debts and stuff like that, you know, family logistics, but also a big family holiday because, you know, the, we've never been abroad as a, as a family. You know, we've never had a beach holiday or anything like that. The kids are getting on and I want to take them abroad. So that's the plan. Yeah, holiday's the first one. The cameras are after that. Yeah, because, you know, kids deserve a decent holiday. But getting to that point, I'm not saying I'm in the doghouse with Kez because she has been incredibly supportive. Yeah, and I wish I could take her to Ireland, but the budget just isn't there. Yeah, so... If you see me creeping on live shows, yeah, it's because she has been brilliant at the minute. Yeah, because not only that, yeah, she's running around, she, she's helping with the kids, she's taking on all the housework while I'm sitting writing and that sort of stuff. So she's a bloody amazing woman, to be perfectly honest. You know what I mean? I'm a lucky man and it's no wonder. I don't know how she's put up with me for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, but I must have something about me. Calm down. You know what they say about us Terraniacs? We're good with our hands. And I'll leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, uh, I would love to be able to take that wonderful woman with me. But if I can't, yeah, and it doesn't look like I will be able to because I'm, I'm, I'm essentially having to find the funds to get myself across there for this Beast of War thing. So, it's actually the extra funds to get her across as well and make it a bit of a holiday for us both for a birthday and anniversary. Yeah, I don't think it's doable. Yeah, so I'm going to have to treat her afterwards. Ah... Uh, but hey ho, this is the life we have. So, Mel is incredibly busy with terrain stuff outside, yeah, the, the studio, you know, the normal channel stuff over the next month, month or two. Yeah, two months approximately. <sighs> yeah, but we have got content coming from, if you just watch the YouTube channel, it's just gonna tick along as normal, you know, you'll get your, your early access on Patreon and that sort of stuff, links down below, by the way. I should always say that. And then obviously, you know, as the book starts to come out, you'll get Kickstarter videos and updates. I'll be doing live shows and that sort of stuff. But outside of the thing, I'm going to be traveling a lot. So obviously, if you're at Adeptcon, if you're at Salute, let me know. Keep an eye on Beasts of War. Make sure you head over to them and give them a sub. Yeah, if you'd like to see me on the weekend. And remember, they have the, the their sort of backstage weekend, the XLBS. Now, quick shout out for the boys at Beast War. If you would like to see me on the XLBS, it is that you do have to pay to get entrance to their backstage, but they do a 30 day free trial. Uh, I figure if you ju if it, if the Kickstarter's on, if you jump on Beast of War on their trial, say first week of March, yeah, you'll probably be able to watch or you know my my stuff without actually having to pay. Now I'm not trying to skim for it. No, I'm just saying, look, you can jump on all my lot. Have a nose, yeah. It's good stuff and I do watch The Weekender. It's interesting stuff and Lloyd is a bit of a terrainiac. So if you decide to hang around, it's well worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's everything that's going on in my life at the minute. <sighs> if I make it through to April, we're gravy. Yeah, and in the meantime, guys, I've got my Burma build to crack on. I've got my lava build to crack on. Yeah, I've got to get have a nap with Fred about some ocean colours for what you call it for a video next week. So I'm going to leave you to it. Listen, let me know if you'd like to help me with the Kickstarter and that sort of stuff. <coughs> yeah, send me a message. I'll add you to the group. Especially if you, you can help me spread the message, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, if you'd like to support my little adventures, you know, over the seas and far away, yeah, links down below in the description. Yeah, and yeah, if you'd just like to leave a very supporting message towards my wife, yeah, Kerry, underneath this video, because she has been incredibly supportive over these next two months, that'd be appreciated as well, guys. And in the meantime, look at the smile on this face. Oh, it's a glorious time to be a trainiac. Listen, guys, yeah, I'm here because you put me here. There's no doubt about that. And everything I do is based on you. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so thank you. Onwards and upwards, guys, yeah? All the best. Ta-ra.